All right, welcome back to the lunch break low down. So, mm -hmm. found us a science experiment to try. Unfortunately, lots we of found bumps it like five minutes before the show. To and we thinking don't of have trending to topics was a little difficult today. You know, I'm so tired from there's Mardi always, Gras. There's always so many things. It's there. fine. Anyway, it's okay. so what we're going to try and do here is an experiment that some people may have actually heard of before. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a magic trick. You're going to take. So you can draw some, and I'll put it up in this camera. You can draw some arrows uh, like this on a piece of paper, and we're actually going to flip them without turning the piece of paper. Bum, so bum, usually bah. you would flip it like that. But today we're going to make these arrows go the other way. It's magic. Now it's going to be a little difficult. You need, <laughs> here's what you're going to need. Okay, you need two glasses. Do not use wine glasses. No. There's a reason why. This but is that's called, all we had. Yes. This is called a <laughs> convex curve. Think of it like your, your glasses that yeah. people wear. So what this will do is actually distort the image because it's trying to uh, help, it, like what your glasses do, help you see. It changes the distortion and makes things more visible or less visible. Okay. So just for reference, this is what it currently looks like. So you need to have one glass that's empty. Okay. Okay, Taylor? Yep. Now comes the fun Do you want part. me to pour the water? Well, here's how we're going to have to do this. Oh, no. <laughs> because typically, you would have two glasses, same size. You would show off that in that one glass, the arrows go that one way. And then you would take the second glass and dump the water do in. Do you want me to dump it? So or is it going to make a mess? Here's what we're going to do. Don't, don't, it's going to make a mess. Okay. Use this. You've already tried it. <laughs> I've already tried this, so let me get this in place. OK. And then we're going to see if the arrows change. This is very uh, elaborate Sorry. right now. Look, it's starting to change. Is it? Yeah. See, I'm it's gotten out longer. Of water. I might have to. <laughs> I think I'm running out. And then okay, you can wait. you can probably yeah don't. And look, oh, they kind of did. did a little yeah. bit. See, so this is why I say don't use the convex lens. I can get that one in. See how it's reversed? Yeah. So we just reverse the arrow. But uh, yeah, that's why you don't use the wine glasses. Refraction. Water refraction. And this is key for meteorology, OK? So in, when we have beautiful sunrises, what's happening is the light is being refracted through the atmosphere. And so okay. what you're seeing is the light going through and bouncing off particulates in the atmosphere. So certain particulates, uh, like dust, okay. in the morning time, and the elongation of the light going through the atmosphere, because it's got to go through a whole lot of atmosphere, it changes the color and makes the oranges and the reds. So basically, the, the, the more afternoon. vibrant sunset sunrise that we have, the more particulates. Correct. And in one the way air. that we uh, definitely know this is if there's a fire around, okay. you will always see red sky. It'll be vibrant red. If Saharan dust is around, you will see an orange yellow yeah. glow to the sky in the morning time and in the evening. It's pretty cool. But during the daytime, because the sun's directly overhead, uh, the refraction doesn't work quite as well. Yeah, I got to cut so, you off. We, he gets on a tangent. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this, hopefully, if we didn't run out of time.